Hi guys, if you think this video title or the video setting is very familiar, you're not mistaken. I have recorded a very similar video and placed it on our YouTube channel before, but I realised recently that the information in the video is a little bit outdated, so I have decided for you guys that I'm going to record a new version and share again some information about congenital rubella syndrome and the CRS Live Support Group, which is hanging out here on my computer. What is congenital rubella syndrome, I hear you ask? Well, that is a very good question. Congenital rubella syndrome is a condition which you are born with. That's what the word congenital uh, means. And the word syndrome means it's a cluster of illnesses and disabilities which are connected to each other. And it's caused by the rubella virus when a pregnant mother contracts the rubella virus, also known as German measles, during the first trimester of pregnancy. It's very likely that the virus spreads to the unborn fetus and it always takes its own random path and decides that it's going to damage all kinds of different developing organs and muscles as it travels through the fetus. And that's how we end up being born with this cluster of different illnesses and disabilities which are connected to each other. Everyone with congenital rubella syndrome, including me by the way, um, is born with a triad of symptoms. We're born with some kind of heart condition, sight loss and hearing loss. And it affects people in all kinds of different ways because, as I've said, the virus, when it affects the fetus, travels in its own random path and decides to affect different things and affect them in different ways. And also, depending on when the virus is contracted during the first trimester, depends on how uh, physically affected we are. So the later the virus is contracted, the less severe the symptoms and the illnesses and the disabilities. So we're born with this triad of symptoms and for me I have one heart condition, I have severe sight loss, I have only 5% vision in one eye and in, that's in my left eye. In my right eye I have only 1% vision and some of you may not be aware actually, the regular viewers, may not be aware that I also have some hearing loss and my hearing loss is so very slight that it's not noticeable. I only actually struggle to hear things in very busy situations or when the, the TV or the radio is too loud or, you know, if there's too much background, background noise then I, I struggle. But otherwise you guys wouldn't know that I have any hearing loss at all. I can totally understand if that surprises you. Um, as I said, it affects people in different ways so I know people who have four heart conditions, which for me is kind of freaky actually because I know that that could have been me and it's not. I got really lucky, I only have one heart condition and as far as I know that's, that's under control. Um, there are lots of people out there who have more severe hearing loss than I do. Some of them use hearing aids and some of them need to use sign language in order to communicate. Um, I have noticed personally that the more people I come across who have more severe hearing loss than I do, seem to have better vision than I do. I know one person who is very severely hearing impaired, but although they have some sight loss, it's nowhere near as bad and they can still see to drive a car, which is very strange because I know for sure they have the same condition, they also have CRS. So it can be very weird to encounter people that are affected differently, but that is just how the the virus works. We're not only born with a triad of symptoms but we get to experience sometimes late onset symptoms which happen as we grow and as we grow it can be apparent that some of us sit on the autistic spectrum and have some kind of form of autism. Some of us can suffer from stress and anxiety disorders. We can have issues with bones, issues with muscles. Um, type 2 diabetes is a very common late onset uh, illness which a lot of us experience. It's, it, I see it a lot coming by with the different uh, people with CRS that I know. Um, some of us even have bladder and bowel incontinence. If you've read my blogs you'll know all about my incontinence issues. I'm not ashamed to tell people. Uh, so yeah, it's, CRS is just a gift that keeps on giving because it seems that we, the, the older we get the more uh, CRS related things we seem to experience. That can be very frustrating for some people. For some people it can be also very confusing because 
this condition is supposedly rare and a lot of people who have it don't realize they have it so that's why there's a support group for people out there the support group is called CRS Life and it's a congenital rubella syndrome education and support group it's a Facebook group, it's a closed Facebook group and the reason why I chose to set it up as a closed Facebook group is because I allow the members or we allow each other actually to share our own personal stories and experiences and we don't want the whole of Facebook to be able to read those we want a little bit of a safety net so that we can feel comfortable sharing those stories and personal experiences um, we like to discuss all kinds of things CRS related sometimes we experience sometime, something new and we don't know what it is so we go and ask and usually we find out that someone else in the group has it and that it's indeed CRS related so we learn from each other and we share our personal stories with each other and that's how we started to support each other because this condition can give us good days it can give us bad days and we like to help each other get through all of those days and because of that we don't just discuss CRS everything in the group is allowed every kind of topic sometimes we place funny jokes inspirational quotes and for those of you who like uh, a bit of regularity in your life we have regular posts that you'll see come by every week music on Monday so we talk about our favourite music. On Tuesdays we talk about some of our favourite things. On a Wednesday, it's Work It Out Wednesday. And Wednesday is my favourite day of the week because I get to post Work It Out Wednesday. And I always post a picture puzzle. And it's a very vague, usually a very vague picture of an object. And the members get to try and work out what the object is. And it drives some of our members absolutely crazy. And I have a lot of fun with that. I'm actually thinking of changing that up which is maybe exciting for some of you guys who are thinking of joining it's not no longer just going to be a picture puzzle I'm thinking of adding some other different types of puzzles in there so that basically so that I don't run out of objects to take photos of uh, on a Thursday we have Thankful Thursday and one of the group members always writes a fantastic story um, about what they're thankful for and of course they don't just talk about themselves they ask the other members what we're also thankful for so it's great to read that story and it's always fun to join in and think about things that we're thankful for uh, in the in the in the midst of frustration and confusion sometimes with CRS it's important to think about the positive things in life and what we're thankful for and of course on the Friday we discuss what we're going to do at the weekend so yeah although we like to discuss CRS related topics it's not necessary everybody's allowed to discuss and talk about whatever they like that's the beauty of a support group uh, we like to learn and we like to spread awareness, we like to teach each other because as I've probably said before in this video, not everybody is aware that they have it. Some of the members, including myself, have only been aware for a number of years that everything we've been dealing with is because of a condition we have called CRS. So we learn each other, we teach each other, we learn more day by day and we would like to spread awareness and that's why not only members or not only people who have CRS are welcome, but everyone who has a connection to CRS is also welcome. So if you're a doctor, are you a caregiver? Are you in professional care? Do you care for someone with CRS? Are you a family member? Are you a friend? Do you have a friend with CRS? Maybe you're just interested and want to know more about this seemingly rare condition. Everyone is welcome. I will leave a link in the description below so that you guys can click on it and come directly to the Facebook group you'll need to submit a, a membership request and I will approve it as soon as I see it appear in my uh, notifications so guys that's basically it I wanted to tell you a little bit more about the condition and of course I wanted to make some awareness that there's a support group out here for those who are connected to CRS I hope this video has been an informative one. Please, please, please either join the group or share the video through so that we can spread some more awareness and hopefully the idea that CRS is rare will soon be a thing of the past. Thanks guys. If you'd like to know what we do besides YouTube, you can check out our website. Just go to www.chessconnect.eu. 
If you'd like to follow us on social media and be the first to know when we upload a new video, my Twitter account is the CRS Life and Jessica's Twitter account is Native Natures. Thanks for watching guys, until the next time, bye!